Hey guys, it's me, Lydia Marie, and welcome back to my channel, you guys. I know it's been, what, two weeks since I've been able to post something, but you know how that goes. It's, uh, we're getting through it. This six weeks, seven weeks, whatever week it is of this quarantine. So, you know, life is still moving on in my world, meaning I still have to work and do other things just maintain some sense of normalcy but i figured i would just come here this afternoon just to have a quick chit chat with you guys don't worry i am coming back with another tutorial and i have like two or three products reviews lined up i just got some items in this week from fenty beauty which i have been loving i've been wearing them all week and i've been loving so those reviews are coming soon i got a request for another look that is also coming soon i am getting it together i want to have content to pump out to you guys but truly today i just wanted to come and chit chat and see how every one of my however many subscribers hi guys out there are um those of you who watch and haven't subscribed yet make sure you hit that subscribe button down there as well but you know, just to check in with the quarantine and see how my people are doing. Um, as for myself, honestly, and I kind of, I've had this discussion with um, one of my family members, but I kind of feel like an anomaly when I say that for me, the quarantine has not been bad at all. And I think for me, the biggest part of it that has made it bearable for me is being able to work from home because the work environment was the biggest stressor, one of the biggest stressors that I had. Um, so when I was able to transition to work from home, I'm able to just, I just literally let out a sigh of relief. I have been so happy in that regard, being able to work from home, still being busy <clears throat> and things like that. The workload hasn't decreased, but still thankful for a job that I was able to work from home. And like I said, you know, maybe it's because, you know, I'm used to rolling solo. I'm used to going out by myself. I'm used to going to dinner and you know, just picking up and doing what I want to do because, you know, single income, no kids and things like that. So <clears throat> for me, for me, these are my thoughts and opinions. The quarantine for me has not been bad at all. Of course, I have my moments of worry and anxiety, you know, worrying about myself, my health, my loved ones, helping, praying that everybody continues to be kept safe during this time, you know, and really... Um, one of the biggest lessons I've had to take away from this is being compassionate because while I'm having a great time being home in my house, <laughs> I know everybody isn't having that same experience. You know, whether you have to be at home with your kid all day and y'all not used to, you know, vibing out all day, having to teach and work and doing all that good stuff or being home, you know, and you're just used to being more social and interactive with people and you thrive on that, that can be hard for people who do, who thrive on that type of activity. Whereas someone like me, I'm social when I want to be, but I need to be home to recharge. And home for me is my comfort. Home with my thoughts and myself and my things and my space is my comfort. It's what brings me the most comfort next to being, you know, with my immediate family. So for me, I understand that my perspective is from, oops, a team of one sort of, you know, kind of perspective. Um, and just like, at first I was like, what is wrong with y'all? Like, how could you not like being home? Like it's home. Like you get to work from home and, you know, work in your draws if you want to, <laughs> you know, but I have in talking to different people, their world is not my world. And that's okay. Everybody is coping the best that they can. Everybody is coping differently. Um, you know what I'm saying? And I, I'm not saying every day is 100% rainbows and it ain't, you know what I mean? <laughs> it's really not, you know, still have to work, still have to pay bills, still have to, you know, wonder, worry about family that you can't see right now. You know what I'm saying? So learning compassion has been a big, big, big thing for me. Um, but overall, you know, I, I've been good. I'm really, 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 truly blessed. I'm not bragging or flexing or anything like that. Truly been blessed that I have not 
needed or wanted for anything as of yet during this time. Truly, that is a blessing because I know, I know personally, and I know watching the world the news, you know, it's, people are hurting and it's really, you know, a really weird time for our world. So learning a little bit of compassion and you know, seeing the world and things from other people's perspective has helped me gain perspective. And I'm not saying like I was all, I'm home by myself. Hey, hey, hey you got kids, shame on you. You know, it wasn't anything like that, but you just kind of, when you're so used to being in your own bubble as I am, you know, and having, I guess the easiest way to put it is like the quarantine social aspect for me is not much different than it was before. Cause I wasn't really like, you know, oh, eight of us going to brunch and I'm not, I don't really have that here in this city like that. So I'm, I'm just, I've been so used to it for so long. It didn't bother me, but I realized that some people, it really is affecting them. Like I can't wait to see my friends and you know, and that's fine. It is what it is, but you know, just checking in and seeing how everyone is doing. Feel free to leave me a comment down below. You know, we getting through it. Just as long as your state is still saying stay at home and even some of these states that are opening right now a little prematurely based on everybody's assessment the scientists and data and everything um just stay safe you know keep keep the same practices because i personally will be i believe our state is supposed to start phase reopening sometime um not this week but next week so i'm still like if I can stay home <laughs> longer, then I will be because I just, you know, I just, I have my own theories on that. But hopefully y'all are keeping safe. Hopefully um, everything, you all are being healthy and that you have what you need. And if you don't at this moment that you're able to soon get it, those who are looking for jobs, believe me, you guys are definitely in my thoughts and prayers. I know what it is like to be without a job. Um, to be laid off unexpectedly. I get it. I have been there so many times. It ain't even funny. So I get it. You know, I hope that we can all come through on the other side of this where it won't be normal, but it'll be the new normal or the normal that we have to create with this crisis going on. So yeah, you know, I just drop in my thoughts, man. I'm, I'm good over here. Um, yeah, I don't I don't know what to say. Sometimes I feel a little bad for saying that. But then I'm like, why should I feel bad for, you know, being happy that I'm okay? That my life is just, it's okay right now. You feel me? It's not, as social wise, it's not much different other than, you know, the anxiety of like having to go to the store and really just having a plan around that. That, it gives me the most anxiety having to be around other people right now. Like if I have to go to the store, like, planning out my trips to the store and making sure you know that I'm keeping my distance I'm doing what I need to do because I can't control adults it's hella annoying to go and see adults just like not taking anything seriously and but I can't control that I can only control my actions so you know it's been a little adjustment it's a you know it's a huge adjustment and I really think it's not going to be much different when this is all over I don't think we're just going to be going back willy-nilly and you know 90 people in a restaurant it ain't <laughs> I don't see it but you know you never know so but yeah you know I'm just and that's you know being easy on myself and not feeling bad for expressing myself and feeling how I feel during this time and being happy for being home that's how I feel that's how I am coping that's how it's getting me through because I'm very happy in my space I'm very happy to be home and working and mm -hmm. You know, I've had more social visits via Zoom and whatever else app than I have normally. So, I mean, for me, I'm I'm okay. And I'm okay with now saying that I'm okay. So, you know. Anyway, how y'all doing? How are you guys? How is quarantine treating you? Leave me a comment down below. This is just, you know, some little chit chat. I'm already dressed because I filmed something for very quickly for my Instagram stories which you should be watching and follow me on Instagram. I will link my page down below so you can see like my everyday get ready with me, my short videos that I do a lot of. So I will be back 
soon, if not tomorrow, then by the end of the week, posting my reviews on my new Fenty. And I'm waiting on another order to get in, but I think I don't think it's going to be in this week. So I'll be posting some new reviews in the next coming weeks. But that's all. Just saying, hey, guys. Hope that you guys are doing well. Just wanted to come in and chit-chat with you guys really quick. So leave me a comment below. Don't forget to subscribe. Thanks so much for watching. Continue to stay safe. And I will see you all the next time. Bye.